I still don't understand Fandom Menace. Like, what qualifies you as Fandom Menace? Is it someone oh, who know, doesn't like the sequels? Is that uh, what it is? Well, how, do you, how would you define it? I guess it's somebody or... It's, it's a label. It's a label that's been given to outspoken critics of Disney Star Wars. That's it. Oh, so these people don't call themselves that, but they've embraced it, haven't they? They're not, but some people don't. Yeah, you embrace, can, you embrace the negativity. Be... You know, it's like... It's like, a little bit like, do you know when... Um, if you know if you've got some stupid jumper on or something like that when you're in school or on the playground or whatever and you take the mick out yourself before the bullies can and then yeah. you open it it's kind of like that isn't it yeah you yeah, just, stop. yeah stop. i'm the fandom menace i'm gonna own it yeah i am fandom menace yeah I don't, call, don't you. Call me on that. i'm not fandom menace trouble is i mean like the thing is with the fandom menace you've got a bit of a bad press because of all the sort of well the press basically pointing the finger at it just critics that's all you know they're not racist bigots which they've been called yeah i'm sure there are some obviously with any large group of people you're gonna get the odd bad apple but yeah of course they're just critics that's all and they're being labeled sexists racists misogynists and all this sort of stuff it's ridiculous i can tell you where it originated go on oh is this oh. brian Oh, no. Uh, well, it might be, yeah. Brian's put in the uh, YouTube uh, chat. EVS polarised the term fandom menace in 2000. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, Ethan Van Skyver. He's a comic book um, artist. Ah. Well, yeah. but before before yeah. that, I, I believe that the term fandom menace came off the back of the very early state. Obviously, when uh, the Phantom Menace came out, the very early stages of the internet. I've heard, I've heard it goes back that far as well. Mm. And people would, that's when people first started to do fan edits. So yeah. people did a fan edit of uh, episode one. I think if I'm remembering this correctly, people did a fan edit of episode one and then they became known as the fandom menace. Yeah. And it, so it was only like a small thing, but then as I say, um, and as Brian's pointed out, it started to gain some more traction in the past couple of years um and then it's kind of been embraced by a large you know a large area of the fandom now yeah i think i i only really became properly aware of it after the last jedi where yeah you know, yeah where the label stuck and it yeah mm. with ruin johnson <laughs> <laughs> well yeah Still i mean back back to disney and their their sort of attitude with 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 finn, finn you know and, and john boyega There's, yeah yeah he i can't i can completely understand his frustration mm -hmm. you know yeah especially it, with disney's sort of um what do you call it virtue signaling about um race and all this sort of stuff yeah. yet they'll allow his image to be shrank to hardly anything on the chinese version of the post if they had any backbone and seriousness and conviction about their message about racism they would have said no to China. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Of course, well, they don't because they're fake, and it's all about money. 